Zell Boy Army. What is going on? It's your boy Zelonis. My spicy, beautiful chef friend at the back, Mr. Ainsley Harrow. We're here today with another spicy video. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel recently. The comments, the encouragement, the kind words, liking the video means a lot to me. I really appreciate you joining me on this YouTube journey. I'm really grinding hard, trying to put out great content for you guys that you enjoy. Please keep telling me the type of content you want to see because I want to make content that's for you guys that you enjoy. Please, if you're new to the video and you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel and put out content every single day. It'd mean a lot and it'd show me that I'm doing stuff that you guys enjoy. If you don't um, know about my Twitch, please check my Twitch out. I stream every single day over on Twitch TV. Zelonis92, the link's in the description. I'm trying to put as much content out for you guys as possible. Twitch is a great place where you can watch my streams live. You can ask me questions in the chat, I'll interact with everyone. Um, and you can ask me some of the questions that you might want to have asked on YouTube. Another way of supporting me is the Patreon, that me, Jambu and the FIFA analysts, you've probably heard of them, uh, we run together. You can see a link in the description below. I appreciate anyone who just wants to watch these videos. Thank you for supporting me. Let's get on with the video. Today's video is about building the perfect team. That starts with the formation. You don't need, uh, the perfect team on FIFA, let's be honest, might need 40 million coins. but. I'm not on about building the best possible team in the game because no no one barely can afford that. We're on about building a perfect team as close as you can on your budget. Formation's important. So the, at the start, the formation you pick that probably isn't even going to be the formation you in game. 4 3 3 is one of the best formations for getting chemistry. But you need to have in your mind what formation do I want to play. If I want to play 4 2 3 1, then I'm going to need 4 attackers. To fill the Lamb, Ram, Cam, and Striker, and two defensive midfielders. If I'm playing 4 4 2, I might need two midfielders who are a bit more attacking than just CDMs. One formation that I've enjoyed playing recently is the 3 5 2. You're going to need three centre backs, two le uh, left mid and right mid, who can probably defend a bit. You might have to start four back and use a full back who can play on the wing. Um, some people, God forbid, want to play five back. So you're a bit more of a defensive team. Think about the philosophy you want to play, the way you want to play FIFA. I think this year you can play in more ways than one. Think, then think of a formation that you use. That, that's an important start. Okay, now your budget, your budget will have a big say on what t type of team you can build. So you have to really think, what budget have I got? How am I going to build this team? So if you've got a, a, a low budget, you might not be able to get, you might want a keeper who can link to players. If you're going, if you've got a decent budget and you can fit an icon or two in, I would recommend putting one icon at centre back and one icon in the middle of the pitch. Like if you play 4 for 3, an icon there, let's put some, uh, let's put Blanc there, so a French icon who can play midfield. I'm not saying this is going to be the perfect, I'm just showing you ways of building it. If you put it there, that links to one, two, three, four, five players. If you put an icon centre back here, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you've got way more options in your team. It's going to be a lot easier to fit a team. You might want to put, say, Van Dijk. Van Dyke in this position, just his normal card. It's a pretty reasonable price. And he's already gonna have great chem. Keeper. You want just a keeper one of the better keepers who links to one of your players. So for me, Allison is like 40 50k. The keeper's so cheap that I'd never go for a really cheap keeper because the higher rate keepers on this game make a big difference. And the higher rate keepers the Stegans, the De Gea, the Allisons. They're so cheap that it's vital that you get a good keeper. So no matter what your budget, unless you've got a really low budget, I would always be getting a good keeper. But you need a keeper who can link to your centre back. Another thing to know is when you start to build your team, look at the SBCs that you've got. Look at the type of players that you've got tradable in your team. 
start to build from there. If you've got a red neighbor, you're gonna have to use him unless you've got a ridiculous budget. So look at the players who are must-haves in your team, then start to think of players you can link to them. Or if you've got like a favorite player, a lot of people love Mbappe. If you love Mbappe, get him in there. So you, when, one of the things you want to look at when you're building teams, you want to look at using players who've got strong links to players that you like. So like an, at this point, yeah, having a Mbappe Neymar isn't impossible to have. I don't, I don't think. I, I, to be honest, most people I play seem to have these. Building the perfect team, unless you got like, for me, it's hard to build a perfect team if you don't use hybrids. Like, if you just go for Prem, you're not really going to be able to get a great left winger, winger and right winger because there's just not, there's no league on this game that has perfect players in every position. Icons, unless you've got a massive budget, it's going to be very hard to build a team with a lot of icons. So, you probably, if unless you're on a crazy budget, you want a couple of icons to make the chemistry bit link it easier. But then you want some players, you want some players in there who um, you want some players in there who can um, I'm losing my train of thought you want some players in there who link quite strong to us an example here could be a lot of people use Footmas Mendy get Mendy in we've got Mendy in strong links to Blanc Alisson and Rijkaard are giving um, Van Dijk full camp Get Benny Boy in. Benny you're there. I'm just putting the SBC in. You might not use the SBC. You might have other options. But Neymar and Bappe get strong links. Benny you're there gets two strong links. Off of Mbappe and Blanc. And then link off him. Everyone here is on full chemistry. You've already spilled a really solid side. And not a crazy budget because you've picked links. A lot of the time people use certain trios to so like... If you've got that Fabian Shah and the Babu, they can link and start to hybrid together. Look at the team that you want to build. Think of some of the star players, but you want star players who have good links. Chemistry on FIFA is so vital. Look at the SBCs, the untradeable cards you've got, and think who can link to them. So like, at one point in the year, I had PK and he was one of my best players. I linked to Stegen. Mendy linked to him. That was a few players that I had. Build off of the star players you need in your team, because that's fit your budget. Now, a right side here. I want a right side that will get chemistry together. Samada. Frankie. Messi. I'm not saying this is going to be the team that you'd actually build with the budget because it's crazy price. But if you look. All of these, I've got a great back four, two play, two players who can play together. Obviously, you have to if building the perfect team, you want to build a better team. You want a team with pace, power, players decent weak foot can play with the ball. Full backs who can run up and down. I like to play the four two three one at the moment because I just think it's so damn effective. It's crazy. It's crazy, honestly, how good it is at the moment. Um, We'll swap this for my, it'll look better for my team of the year Mbappe. I've got team of the year Mbappe, so we'll stick him in. If you look at the moment, everyone in this team, once they had a manager, and loyalty would be on perfect chemistry. I've got 4 2 3 1, I've got two CDMs who can attack. I've got two five star weak foots, two team of the years. Messi can go Cam, Ben Yadair can go. Ram, Neymar, Lamb, and Mbappe in front. When, when you're trying to build the perfect team, you need balance. You don't want everyone to be really good at attacking and no one to be able to defend. CDMs, I pick players who can attack as well. The perfect team will be all rounded players in midfield. You want midfielders who can do a bit of everything. You like If you've got like a Kante, okay, he'll do a great job at just defending. But the perfect team will be able to do a bit of everything on FIFA. And there's cheap options you can do that. If you're on a low budget, Nine Golan can do a bit of everything. What I would say, 
a lot of people, one tip I'd give, a lot of people, when they're building the perfect team, or in their eyes the perfect team, they put like 90% of the coins into one or two players and then just cheap out everyone else. Don't do that. You need to spread your coins out. On FIFA, if you've got one good attacker, people will just mark that. It's so often when I play someone who's got Tini Ronaldo and then rubbish around him, and all he does is just try to get to Ronaldo, Ronaldo. It's just so predictable, it will make you a worse player. Don't force yourself into playing like that. You want a balanced team. So if you're on a million coin budget, don't get normal Mbappe and have 400k left. Spread it out a bit. Get a few good attackers up front. Um, in terms of like when it goes for icons, I don't think you should force yourself to get icons just because you have to get the chemistry. Play players off chem at 8 chem if, if you need to to make your team better but as you can see having an icon or two in there can really help with the chemistry and links um, strong links players with strong links to each other who are good meta players are always going to be invaluable strong links allows you to hybrid better I wouldn't really ever be limiting myself to one league forces you to not get the best players because the best players across all the team are often going to be spread across different teams I'd make you attack and you like if you play one striker he has to have at least four star weak foot I would always want four star weak foot plus on every attacker I use um, yeah I think I've given you quite a few tips there on how to build the perfect team if you've got any questions please let me know in the comments if you've got any suggestions any things you like to do when you build a team please let me know but I hope you've enjoyed this video. Really appreciate the support of the channel. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Keep it spicy.